Hi guys, what's going on? Good to see you again in June. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winter Bellevue Commons. Are you guys enjoying this hot weather outside? Historically hotness in the weather uh, bring historically hotness in the real estate market in Seattle. And that's what we're going to cover today in this episode. All residential data for Seattle and all east side locations. But before we jump into this market update, I want to say thank you first for all those families who use my services already in 2021. For past six months, I was fortunate to help six families to sell the property and I was fortunate to help 12 families to buy the property as well. We win over multiple over situations and those families got key from their home. Thank you so much guys. And I wanna let you know guys, your interest is always on top of my mind. Thank you so much for trusting me and let's jump into this market update. And I will start with East Side. On Seattle's East Side, as you guys can see in the slide with me, we have only zero 0.3 months of inventory. It's very low inventory. It's historically low inventory. And we have only 931 pending sales on the market right now. With medium sale price, $1.3 million and increase for 37% year over year. On this slide, you guys can see 78% of all homes and sales is side selling above asking price and only 9% at asking price. 92% of all, all homes in Seattle's east side selling less than 15 days on the market. Uh, with that guys, of course, odds of selling on Seattle's east side is very high. It's about 90% right now. And if you compare to the previous year, you guys can see the months of supply drop for about 76% and number of active listings drop for about 71%. It's a big drop. What's happening right now is less people list properties because when you list properties and you want to buy something else and affordability is a big issue right now is the people cannot find property they want to buy and they desire to stay in the houses longer. Like before, people move every five to six years so right now uh, what I can see people moving from 10 to 12 years so they stay longer in the same home majority of people who list properties right now they moving out of states or moving out of city for the job affordability is issue right now because home prices increase a lot and home prices increase in Seattle area and east side for about 30% just from last year, this year. And with that guys, real estate property tax is going to be increased this year again. Many of you guys who purchase properties and have properties going to receive new bill, especially from King County. In majority cities of King County, property taxes increasing this year for about 30%. That's a big number, it's a big jump because prices went up a lot. Other changes what I see on the market, we don't have 10 to 20 offers anymore. We have three to five offers, but those offers are very, very strong offers and clients really selective. For example, I just sold property in Sammamish and uh, list property, a great home, about 20 years old, uh, a little bit over 3,000 square feet. I listed for $1.5 million and we sold it for $1.7 million. Unbelievable high tech, but uh, this buyer pretty much waived all contingency, releasing $200,000, non-refundable earnest money, make this offer really strong and very appealing to my clients. Those buyers that there, they're very selective, but they know exactly what they're looking for. But when they find a house like they like, they go going to be submit very, very strong offer. And let's jump into Seattle data. You guys can see with me on the screen, we have only 0.5 months in inventory in Seattle with 556 active listings on the market and 1184 homes on pending right now. With price increase for about 20% year over year with medium sell price, $919,000 and 63% of all homes in Seattle selling above asking price and 18% of all homes in Seattle selling at asking price. 85% of all homes in Seattle selling less than 15 days on the market and of course odds of selling is very high about 81% in Seattle areas right now. That shortage 
shows we have high demand right now and very strong sellers market in Seattle. Very interesting fact, uh, in average for 10 years, year to date, we usually have 3,888 homes in the market. In year to date right now, we had like 5,095 homes. And uh, we have higher supply of the homes comparable to 10 years data. Even we have higher supply of homes in Seattle for sale comparable to last 10 years. We have such a strong demand exceeds that higher supply in Seattle. Everybody talking about hot weather right now. And as you guys know, like 65% of all homes in Seattle don't have air conditioning. Comparable to Oregon, 70% of all homes in Oregon have air conditioning in the houses. And with that, guys, many people, many people who live in Seattle area right now, they go into the lakes, uh, rivers, they just go outside of town to find those cool spots. And like if you guys prepare property to list right now, it's uh, not the best time to list. You have to wait until weather a little bit cool down and people are going to become back homes and going to be stuck. Uh, live normal life and shop for the houses again we're going to see this next week and july is a great uh, month to sell the property a lot of buyers looking for home to buy well so market going to be much more softer in august and i'm expecting if you guys looking to buy a property you can actually get for a better deal and better price everybody talking about affordability and everybody talking about inflation so many people who receive uh, high bonuses and increasing the job in salaries specifically on this side they look into invest and they look into invest in real estate you see potential future to grow when amazon finish uh, moving from seattle all those employees to bellevue by 2025 and all infrastructure going to be completed in and built uh, for facebook uh, google Facebook Oculus department and uh, Microsoft. Numbers of dozen other companies around those companies going to be grow around this area. On one hand, seems like builders supposed to be built more properties for people because it's such a high demand, but unfortunately, it's not going to be happen right now. Regulations is really tough. For example, city of Bellevue takes about 866 days in average to develop lot uh, to, with ability to build property on this lot. Over two years, construction materials triple in the price. Plus, we have shortage in construction materials. Plus, we have increase in labor and construction. And all those facts uh, makes very difficult to build new home right now. And with that, guys, resale properties makes more attractive for many buyers. And those people try to use the opportunity to get any possible homes they can. As houses unaffordable and many people specifically people who work in the service industry are forced to be moved out from our area the amazon stepped in with south transit and interesting fact they invest in 100 million dollars affordable houses to be built on south transit surplus properties this construction is going to be happen in bellevue redmond kent seattle federal way and linwood and uh, they're going to be built about 1200 units there and those will be just affordable housing for people who have specific income to wrap up this episode if you're a buyer looking to buy a property my advice for you guys would be you have to have a very clear expectation and your offer has to be really strong offer and experienced broker like myself can help make sure you can win over any other buyers and if you guys seller like to list property you need to prepare property for sale the same thing as a bride prepare for wedding if you guys need any help with that reach out to me i will be love to be a real estate resource and share my experience with you guys my thoughts and i love to be your real estate agent enjoy this beautiful summer have a wonderful day